Hi, it's Adi Alemi from Digital Alchemist. And I'm going to show you how to create a um, paper animation style text in After Effects. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new composition in 600, 200. I'm not going to go something, anything fancy. I'm just going to uh, use it for a simple text. And then I'm just going to click here and type um, text. Maybe move it a little bit down. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click on this and convert it into a pre comp. You can name it whatever you want, but for now I'm not going to do anything fancy to it. Another thing I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to click here and go find edges. And if you click on it and then click on invert, then you can see that we are going to have a um, outline effect. And then I'm going to click on um, I'm going to look for turbulent displacement and then, then I'm going to change this number to 5 perhaps. And you can see that it's going to create a nice, local, uh, nice looking wiggly text and then I'm just going to click on stopwatch on evolution and go to the end and click on this one and change it to maybe 10 and it will create a nice animation effect. I also am going to go to evolution option and um, hold alt and click on random seed or if you're using Mac option uh, and um, click and then I'm gonna type random 10 300 perhaps would do the number that we want and you can see that the um, random seed is gonna change randomly then I'm gonna change the mode from normal to screen and now it's time to duplicate this. So how many times you would like to duplicate it? It's fine and it's going to create like a wiggly um, type there for you. Also what we need to do is just go and create a an adjustment layer. And then I'm going to cl click here, posterize time. Posterize time and I'm going to change the number from 24 to 8 which is what we used to do back in the old days when we were doing stop motion animation. So you can see that it's just kind of like a stop motion -y look and uh, then we need to add a texture to this. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to load up a simple um, crosshatch pencil um, texture that I have here and then I'm going to use motion tile. Um, and motion tile is just gonna add this. Doesn't look that great, but as soon as I duplicate this and use that as my alpha mat, you can see that it's just kind of create a nice texture there for me. I also want to go and click on uh, rotation and click um, type wiggle. Um, wiggle um, 10 maybe um, 50 and it will create a um, nice random uh, rotating effect there for me. Another thing that we might want to do is go back to the text and add up a effect called um, boiling and uh, this will help us to um, what the hell just happened Sorry, you just first select the text, and then um, as you can see, the text just disappeared. But what I uh, what happened is actually right down there. So what I'm gonna do is we don't need any of these animation presets except for we got position and rotation. So I'm just gonna delete these, and um, then click on uh, we got position and rotation. Change this to three pixel as well, and the rotation maybe to three degrees. So you can see that the text also just wiggles a little, which is a nice effect there. And um, <coughs> there are lots and lots of things that you can do. I'm just going to um, add another effect to this, and I'm just going to change this to inverse and um, to <coughs> the adjustment layer. And of course, I'm just going to go to composition, composition setting, and I'm just going to change the color from black to white. And you can see that it's just kind of creating this effect. Also add the effect to the pencil. And you can see that I have this kind of like a nice looking um, wiggly text there. 
Another thing that we might want to do is we might want to um, add some shadow or some other effect to it. So I'm just going to add a new layer here, which is a um, crosshatch. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go there and I'm just going to use the motion tile and invert effect that I use for the other hatch and do it there so you can see that I have some effect there, which is not bad. And um, I'm, what I'm going to do is pretty much what I did there. So I'm just going to use um, that as my alpha and you can see it disappeared. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this slightly to the side and then it just creates this kind of like nice looking effect there for me. Also, what I might want to do is I'm just going to add some blur effect to it. Uh, maybe a... Uh, where is my favorite blur? Oh, there you go. We can just use some Gaussian blur and just add up a little feather to this alpha that we're adding there. And it will create a nice looking effect. There, also click on rotation and option alt click on rotation again. And um, sorry, and then we are just going to use wiggle um, 1060 and we're just going to leave it there. What just happened? Uh, all right, you just got to make sure that you don't have any typos. save you heaps of time to just uh, create something like that. The good thing about it is, of course, as usual, we can change this text to something everyone if you like this video if it helped you do anything or just gave you new ideas please like this video and like our channel and um, it's basically that's the only support you can do cheers I'm Ariel Lemmy from Digital Alchemist and see you next time